drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun for you drumming ideas. You'll notice a big smile on my face today because we hit 20,000 subscribers this week, so thank you all very much for that, and I hope you enjoy the, uh, the up and coming lesson. So uh, sit back, relax, and I'll explain it and break it down in the next seven or eight minutes. Here we go. Okay, so this week we've got this sweet little cross stick groove. It's 99% linear, apart from the and of beat one, we've got a bass drum and a hi-hat playing at the same time. Other than that, every single note is just played on its own or individually. Uh, we're going to be looking mainly at beat two because we've got this cool little sort of herter style lick happening between the rim of the snare drum and the hi-hat. And of course, like I said, where it's cross stick, we're playing like this on the snare drum. All right, so if we look at beat one and two together, I'll sort of focus on beat two a little bit on its own and then we'll play three and four together as well. So beat one is just, it's fairly simple. We've got a kick drum for beat one and E is going to be a little clack with the left hand and then the and of beat two is going to last for that eighth note and we're going to play a bass drum and an open hi-hat. So if I play that, and I'm going to put the beat two in as well, so we're going to get this. So that's one E and two. Right, so if we look at beat two now, we've got this little Herter style pattern where we're going to be playing a left on its own for beat two. The E of beat two, we're going to split into two 30 second notes. We're going to play a pretty quick right left. The and of beat two is a right, and then the uh of beat two is a clack. So you're going to get this left, right, left, right, left sort of pattern. Left, right, left, right, left. So what we do now is if we take beat one and two and play them back to back, it's gonna sound a little bit like this. Nice and slow. And that's beat one and two done. Moving on to beats three and four, this bit's a little bit easier. We've basically got this pattern where we're going right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. So we've got all eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if I count it properly, it's three E and a, four E and a. Now don't worry about dynamics too much unless you start switching from the cross stick to playing it normally on the snare drum. I'll show you what that's gonna sound like a little bit later. So keep the snare drums all nice and loud and proud, or the cross sticks, anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just play, in fact, we might as well just bung it all together now, so we've pretty much got everything. So if I just play it slowly a couple of times, and then um, I'll shut up and then bring the drums up in the mix. So from beat one, we've got one E and two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. I really struggle counting beat two, but I'll try it again. One E and two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Probably should just play it and shut up. faster. And a bit faster. Okay, so as a little bonus, what you can do with beat two, if you sort of take the idea and just loop it round and round, you get this sound. So you get left, right, 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 left. And like a herter, you've got these sort of, it's basically a three note pattern. It's a 16th note, two 30 seconds, and a 16th note. All right, but we're starting with an extra one at the beginning. It's that little three note pattern there that we're gonna play around four times. One, two, three, four. And when we get to the end of it, that fourth one, we're gonna play left, right, left, left, and you get left, right, 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 left, left. And you can use that as like a little fill, and it'll sound like this. I'll go into a groove.
that sounds pretty cool. All right, let's have a crack at playing everything up to speed and then chucking that little fill idea in there as well. Hopefully, it's gonna sound pretty sweet. Hopefully. Okay guys, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want the sheet music for it, you can go and download that from onlinedrummer.com and if you want to come and find me on Facebook or Twitter, there's links in the description below. That was hard to say. Either way, take care and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. Alright, bye!